Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where we discuss dating advice in a spiritual way, okay? Now of course everyone would say this is too crazy but remember you're trying to connect with a soul, a soulmate rather than just a physical being so that the better way to deal with a soul is to get connected with a soul, okay? The first questions that I the first question that I always have when it regards to having your readings is why is the person not replying? Why is the person being cold? Why is the person all of a sudden shut down where you guys felt a connection? Okay. First things first that we need to break down is when you are trying to connect with a soulmate you have to understand that as a soulmate, it's totally different from a life partner. There comes in different forms. I mean, soulmate comes in different forms. And it is, it could be your mom, your brother, your sister, your friends. These are all soulmates that we have. Okay? So, the soulmate definition of Hollywood, which I always tell, to everyone who's having their cards read with love is that it's not real. Hollywood soulmate is not real. The only thing real is a life partner. However, a soulmate can be sometimes become your life partner. And I always say this, that that is like a jackpot. Okay? Now, since I have your attention with regards to soulmate, the first question that everyone asks, why is he not replying? Why is she not replying? When we are trying to connect with a soul, everyone is going through a, a path. Now, that path that we choose, you, me, choose, goes in different ways. We can't expect that the other person will also be in the same page right away. That's why divine timing comes into play. Divine timing is basically waiting for the right time and having the patience to wait. When we cannot afford to wait or have the patience to wait, this is now the time where our ego steps in. This is the want. This is the need. When you guys tell me I want to be with this person, I need to be with this person, then Automatically, that is your ego controlling your connection with a soul. If you were to connect spiritually to a soulmate, then you have to approach it in a spiritual way. One, you have to understand that we have no control of another energy, of another soul. They have their journey. Two, time is just an illusion when it comes to soulmate because a soulmate regardless of time one two years three years four years a lifetime if it's meant that you guys bump into each other it will happen okay and third lastly now that you identified if you want to have a soulmate or a life partner then it would be easier for you to date because a soulmate would be the hardest thing to encounter a life partner however this is more into the earthly connection where one for example you guys have the same goal both of you want kids both of you just want your career both of you just want to be you know in a committed relationship this is now the connection of just being a life partner however there is still love in a life partner because that's where you feel true love okay so there is a big difference between soulmate and life partner and that's why i just want to discuss with you guys so everyone has a little bit more clarity on how i perceive on how i see a soulmate and a life partner and that's your dating advice for today uh thank you guys for subscribing and watching my channel i hope you guys have a wonderful day bye